Hello, it's Arit here. In this video, I'm going to share with you a before and after of a recent client website that I designed. Now, this is just to show you the difference that it can make, uh, not just aesthetically, but to design a website on purpose so that it serves you and it works for you. So this website design that I did was for a company called Groundwork Athletics, and they do personal training here out in downtown Vancouver. And what they wanted out of their website was to get more client bookings, specifically more people booking a free consultation because that would lead to, or that would be the lead in to having clients come and do personal training at their gym. So that was the main thing uh, and you know when i first took a look at this website um, aside from aesthetics i found that it didn't really have that call to action right off the bat like it wasn't clear that that's what they wanted it wasn't in the forefront um, you know if that is your purpose you should be asking for that uh, to book a free consultation that should be everywhere on the site so that was the main thing another main thing is that when someone comes to the website, you have to answer the questions that they have in their mind. So uh, one of the main things was that I recommended having a separate page for testimonials, just because that is something in mind when someone's looking to, to do personal training was, well, how did it work out for other people? So those were a few things that had to do with purpose. This is what the, the old site looks like, and I'll just show you a few pages here. So they had a specific page for consultation um, with a, a form over here and their services were um, providing active rehab training and also personal training. Uh, but it was kind of, see, it's kind of, um, it's kind of all over the place and it wasn't, it wasn't as clear as it could be, right? So this is the classes that they provide. They had a little bit of on each class and FAQs. So that was kind of the main makeup of this old site. Now I went ahead and redesigned the website for them. And this is uh, the website that I designed for them using the Divi theme. So this is WordPress. The old site was actually designed on Squarespace. And I, I love working with WordPress and the Divi theme specifically uh, because it lets you do so much and yet it's so user friendly as well for the client themselves to go in and make changes even without any experience in web design. So this, is, this was designed using Divi and right off the bat, you know, everything is organized appropriately. So you have your about page, personal training, group training, active rehab, testimonials, and then certain call to actions to get started or to rent their space. So those things are more clear. We brought those out and having the book a free consultation is pretty much on all of the pages now as well. So you'll see here the home page is really just to kind of lead them into the other pages. And if we go to the about page over here, you'll see that uh, the main message is really brought out at, at the very top here. We have about the owner and then real people, real results leading to the testimonials. And then this book, a free consult is actually the footer on every single page, as well as sometimes it's at the very top of the page. So you'll see here, personal training, and this was thought out very specifically, like when someone goes to that page, I had in mind, okay, what will somebody be thinking when they come to this personal training page? Well, you know, if they, they're interested in trying it out, then we want to have that consult button at the very top here and just show off a little bit about the personal trainers and all that kind of stuff. We have a picture of each of them um, with more information that they can drop down like so and again that call to action to book a free consult um, we still have a dedicated page right here to getting started and again booking that consult it's everywhere so whatever your website whatever you want your website to do for you make sure that's super clear bring that out in the forefront and keep 
going for the ask. You know, you know, don't be afraid to have that call to action in multiple places across your website. This was another cool thing that we did here for the group training page. Again, book a free class today, call to action at the top, uh, and a little bit about the classes, you know, what the offer is, and then there's, you know, a description of each of the classes here, as well as a class schedule. And then the FAQ was nicely organized like this, so little little collapsible menus, which are which are easy to see, whereas on the group training page here, you can see that all of the information was kind of jumbled into two columns together. So I thought this was just more visually appealing as you scroll down the page here. And by the way, just ignore this bar at the top. I'm, I'm logged into the Divi Builder, that's why you see that, but that's not actually part of the site. And then this is the testimonials page that we brought out specifically. So again, when someone, you know, if you're looking for a personal trainer, you're asking those questions of, you know, how has it worked for other people? And, and so we wanted to bring that out, include lots of pictures. We, I, I, um, I told them to ask for testimonials from their clients and they did a great job of gathering so many. There's, there's a lot of great testimonials here for Groundworks. Someone even writing a really long testimonial right here. And again, at the bottom, book a free consult. Another thing that I wanted to point out is if you are planning on doing a website redesign, then make sure your fonts, your images, the whole feel and vibe of the website is consistent with your brand. So when I was redesigning this website and, you know, I saw this, their original site over here, it seemed very simplistic and not uh, not strong enough. And I know that Groundwork Athletics is a super strong company and they provide great services and personal training services to their clients. So I wanted to bring that out more in this design by having more of that resilience. And that's why we chose certain images. And that's also why if we go back to the home page here, and in the other pages as well, you'll see there's like a lot of different movement and different angles of the site. So putting this box over here off to the side, rather than having everything super centered, um, you know, the way that everything was organized was just to have, to have that movement and to have that resilience that is consistent with their brand. So those are some things to think about if you're redesigning your website. I, like I said, I use the Divi theme for WordPress and I love it so much because it gives you that level of control where you can go in there and do whatever you want, but they still have, you know, out of the box templates that you can use and make them your own. And you can design it right from the forefront. You know, you can, it's front page design using the visual builder. So if I wanted to change something here, I just can click and then edit it. Super easy to use. If you are interested in checking out Divi, I'm going to put a link to that in the description below. So that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. I am starting to release more videos like this showcasing the different designs, different design work that I do. So if you have a particular design project that you need help with, then feel free to contact me. I'll put that information as well in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Back from the dead.